Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today is the start of this year's declutter series. I am in full declutter mode right now. Um, I usually do these once a year and I'll go ahead and declutter like my makeup collection for the most part but today I wanted to start with skincare because I really wanted to narrow down my skincare to just a few drawers just because I don't want to have so much. I am so lucky and blessed to get sent a lot of skincare from different brands to try out so that is why my skincare collection is so big um, I really don't have to buy a lot of skincare anymore these days which is really nice but um, I'm always like testing out to different things but it can be it can be overwhelming once your collection just gets a little out of control I don't want to have to keep having more storage for it you know so I would rather downsize so that's what we are going to be doing today I do plan on getting rid of quite a bit but also with these declutters I'm going to be doing a giveaway in each one of these videos as well to give back. I have so much stuff back stocked. Um, once again, I get sent a lot of things to review and I just can't get to it all. So this is a fun way I can give back to you guys because I always get asked if I can give you things usually in my declutter. So this is my way of doing it. You guys will get brand new unopened products of course and also something I do um, I have like a Poshmark page and anything that I purchased myself that I declutter that's like very gently used or practically new I'll put on my Poshmark page and resell to make some of that money back because I mean I do spend a lot on products so it's nice to get a little bit back if I didn't really use it very much so I will have my Poshmark link down below I'll start adding some of these things on there tonight and eventually things will be added probably a lot this week Week, so I would definitely pay attention to that. But yeah, I want to have a declutter video up every Sunday until I get my whole collection done. Most of these will probably be pre-found, but I'm really excited to get some of the stuff out of my house. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys had a happy 4th of July. My husband and I took our razor out on some trails, got a little dirty, so I already got home and showered and everything, so that's why I don't have any makeup on right now. But yeah, now I'm just kind of like resting and I wanted to go ahead and upload this video for you guys, but I hope you had a happy 4th. Um, but let's go ahead and get into the video. All right guys, so into the first drawer here. These are not super clean by the way and not super organized. I'm just gonna go drawer by drawer and start. I feel like this drawer is like a lot of my toners and exfoliating products, some daytime things. So let's do this. So first we have here my Tower 28. This is a daily rescue facial spray. I was using this when I was wearing a mask a lot, going out and stuff for mask me. I don't know if it really did a whole lot for me. I know some people really swore by this product, but yeah, I really just don't feel like I'm using it quite as much. But I am about halfway through, so I feel like I could easily finish this up. I just don't know what I would use it for now, maybe just in the morning. So I'm going to go ahead and keep this and just kind of use it as a morning refreshing spray. I might put it on my makeup desk instead so I remember to use it. I also have this from Dr. Zenobia. I have tons of their skincare. This is the Vitamin C Brightening Toner. I noticed I haven't really been using this one quite as much. I have a lot of toners that I really enjoy. I do really like the ingredients in this one. I don't know why I like really don't reach for it more. And it has L-absorbic acid, which is the best vitamin C. So I do think I want to hold on to this one and try to use it a bit more. Um, speaking of like a brightening toner, I also have this Good Molecules Niacinamide one that I just, I don't know, I'm not really using this one either. I think I am going to go ahead and declutter this one. I feel like this one is older in my collection. Like I think I've had this since they launched, so it might be a couple years old. So I think I would rather keep the Dr. Zenobia over this one because I just feel like this one has some more expensive ingredients. I do like good molecule skincare, but this one's mostly focused on the niacinamide and I do have other niacinamide products in my collection. I have this toner. This is the Is Isn't Tree. This is the green tea fresh toner. I think I got this from Yes Style. It's a Korean skincare brand. I feel like it had pretty good reviews, um, but I feel like it's very similar to this one from Glow Recipe. This is the Pore Tight Toner, and I'm a really big fan of the Glow Recipe one, so I think I'm going to go ahead and keep this one. I know I've been using that a bit more than I have been this one, so... Yeah, I think I'm going to keep Glow Recipe. I feel like the Glow Recipe is a little bit more hydrating too. This one is definitely very 
drying almost on my skin so i'm gonna declutter okay i have my two bhas i don't need both of these and paula's choice is my ride or die so i'm gonna keep paula's choice i feel like it works a lot better i thought that the pharmacy one would be another good alternative but i don't really like how scented this one is it's very herbal scented and it just doesn't work as good the paula's choice works like overnight for blemishes so i'm gonna declutter I have this Drunk Elephant B Hydra Serum. I am so terrible at using serums with my stuff. I pretty much just go in with moisturizer at night, so I don't know if I necessarily need to hold on to this one. I think I might declutter or put this on my Poshmark to sell because it is pricey, and I don't even know if I've used this one, to be honest. I have some more serums in here. This one is the Peach and Lily Glass Skin. I really do like this one in the mornings. I feel like it does really make your skin look so glowy, but it is similar to the one from Glow Recipe, the Dew Drops, but I do feel like this one has almost an exfoliating essence to it, so I will hold on to that. I do have this snail serum. I need to use this. I've heard nothing but good things about it. I don't know why I never reach for this. I'm really bad with my skincare. I have so much. I just get overwhelmed. And typically, I'll only use, like, a couple of things in my routine. But I would like to kind of build up and have, like, a full-on routine from cleanser, serum, moisturizer, and all that. But um, I am going to hold on to this just because it has rave reviews I want to try out a bit more. I also have my Pharmacy Filling Good Serum. This one I really love. It has hyaluronic acid. It's a plumping serum, so I am going to keep. I have this little mini essence from Peach and Lee. I can probably declare this. I don't see myself using that. I have a few um, oils and serums. I still have not used this Peace Out Acne Serum. Hmm... I wonder if I really would get use out of it though because typically I'll just use this. They both have uh, salicylic acid. This one does have niacinamide. I think I'm going to declutter this one. I have the good molecules. I have quite a few from them actually. I want to keep their discoloration correcting one. I think for now it's supposed to help with hyperpigmentation and acne scars so I do want to hold on to it. I also have the super peptide serum. I don't know why I never really use this. I would like to keep it and just kind of mix it in with my skincare. And then I think I am going to declutter the Pixi Glow Tonic. I just don't care for this. It doesn't have the best ingredients in it for the skin. It's a little harsh. All right, so I'll have it at that for now. We might be adding to that in a bit. Next drawer is this drawer, which also has some random things in it. I think this is like evening products or nighttime exfoliators and such. Just kind of mixed all in so first thing is my drunk elephant marula oil i do really like this and i do want to hold on to it so i am going to keep it i would say it's not my favorite favorite skincare product anymore i used to rave about it but i have found different cheaper alternative but it is one of my favorite facial oils so i'm going to keep this skin ink serum i think i'm going to go ahead and declutter it's the my daily dose i think i got this in a subscription but i'm just not using it i have a lot of serums that i can use instead so i'll declutter this the ordinary peeling solution is supposed to be a dupe for the drunk elephant baby facial but to be honest i do prefer the drunk elephant i know it's so much more expensive but it just works so much better like my acne gets dried up like overnight it's kind of incredible how it works but i just don't think this is a dupe personally i do want to hold on to it it's so inexpensive i might as well keep it i don't even know what i'm going to do with it maybe i just need to try it out a bit more i do also have this pharmacy honeymoon glow i feel like so many people rave about this i don't use it as much as i should um but i honestly i don't feel like i've noticed as much results with it as some others have it's kind of hard for me to find a way to use it in my routine because i am always using the paula's choice i don't know it's an aha serum it also has honey in it a part of me does kind of want to keep it though i really like pharmacy it's i don't know i'm gonna keep that for a bit i'm not ready to get rid of it I think I will go ahead and declutter the Drunk Elephant TLC Glycolic just because it's pretty much doing almost the same thing as the Honeymoon Glow. I know this one has AHAs, so I think I can say goodbye to this. I'll probably resell that one. I will hold on to this one. I think this one was gifted to me anyway. It's the Proteiny Power Peptide Serum, so I do want to keep that. This is a newer product from them that I'm testing out. 
I have a random cooling eye wand. Let me tell you, I never use this, so I'm gonna declutter. I have these Hydro Gel Caffeine eye patches. I never use these either, but I do kind of like to have them on hand just in case I have really puffy eyes. I need to remember to use them, so I'm gonna keep. This is a tanning product, the Soul by Jergens. It's a face tanner, so I need to find a new spot for this, but I'm keeping it. I also have this Cheer Up Pharmacy eye cream. Let's see, I have a lot of eye creams. I do know I want to keep this one from Good Molecules, the Yerba Mate one. I am so bad at using eye cream. Sometimes I feel like I just use my moisturizer instead because I don't know if eye creams do like a whole lot for me. I have so many of these like roller things. Oh, I want to keep the Alginus one though. This one is a really good one. I've been using this one for years. I think I will declutter the Pharmacy Cheer Up. I also have the Dr. Zenovia one. This one actually has retinol in the formula, so I do want to hold on to this one too. It's really expensive. This Drunk Elephant Shaba Eye Serum. Man, I have so many eye creams. I feel like I probably don't need to keep this one since I already kept three eye creams. So I'm gonna say declutter. I have a lip balm in here. I need to find a new spot. Oh, here's a lot more lip balms. Oh, I have this eye cream too from Glow Recipe. Mmm. I feel like I can probably declutter this one. I feel like I've had this for a bit. It's probably older and needs to be decluttered. Okay, and then I think these are all lip things. I probably don't need all of those. I guess I can declutter them here. My Bite Beauty Agave Nighttime Lip Therapy. I want to hold on to that. Sol de Janeiro, I love this lip balm. Keep, oh goodness, I have a lot. Patrick Ta, keep. These are new, I haven't used. Um, this Glow Renew Serum, I'm going to declutter. Again, it's a mini size. I'm probably not going to use it. This one is a, another Glow product. And then I think there's another one in here. Yeah, I have two of those. I'm going to declutter those. This fresh lip balm I've had for way too long. It's the Caramel one. I did get a pretty good dent out of it, but I'm going to declutter this. It's pretty old, probably a few years. I just got this Kaja one. I'm going to keep that. My Hangover Pillow Balm. I just got new ones. Did I even use this one that much? I think this is my older one. I'm going to go ahead and declutter this one because I just got the new scented one, so I don't really need to have all of those. And I have a hydrating eye cream from Milani. I haven't used this one yet. Am I really going to? Um, I'll keep it because it's drugstore and I want to try it out still. I can declutter this Bite Agave lip butter thing, chapstick, I don't know because I'm keeping the bite lip mask. So now these are my lip balms. Oh, what's this? This is a Dr. Zenovia Hyaluronic Acid Peptide Serum. This has, again, incredible ingredients for dry skin. I really like their skincare. They're a medical grade that they sell at Sephora. Hmm. I feel like I do want to keep this one. I know it's kind of similar to the Drunk Elephant, though, but this one's more resurfacing. This one's just more hydrating. But let me put it in this serum drawer. I'm just going to put these in here for now because I'm going to have to reorganize all of this anyway. I know I didn't declutter a ton out of this drawer, but we're just going to stick this on here. Back here, I do have this Pacifica Dry It Out Acne Gel Spot Treatment. I'll tell you, I haven't really been using these spot treatments as much anymore. I've been using more of the acne dots, so I think I can declutter this. And I have this Peach and Lily Mini Glass Skin Serum. I'm going to put this in my travel bag. I have a whole bag of travel skincare, which I won't be going through now, so I'm going to move that to the bathroom. All right, next drawer. Let me scoot you guys down. This drawer actually has a lot of my moisturizers in it, so this is going to be a really hard one because I have literally so many moisturizers. I do want to keep my Drunk Elephant Proteiny. I really enjoy this one. One of my go-tos. I've gone through a couple of these. I'm going to keep that one. I love it for daytime. Also, this one is newer from First Aid Beauty. It's our Ultra Repair Firming, Firming Collagen Cream. Holding on to that as well. I love First Aid Beauty products. They have good ingredients and they're great for sensitive skin. I also have the Pharmacy Daily Greens. This is a pretty decent daytime moisturizer. I, I just really wish that pharmacy wouldn't use so much fragrance in their stuff. This is very potent. It's a gel, so it's pretty good for oily skin, so I do want to hold on to it. This Kopari one, I don't think I've used this. It's the Coconut Water Moisture Cream. I'm always weary about coconut products for my skin because if it has coconut oil, 
it's not great for acne prone skin. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and declutter this one. I just, I'm not sure if I'm gonna get a lot of use out of it. It has shea butter in it, which I don't love. It's great for super dry skin though, but not for oily. I am gonna keep this one. I'm still kind of testing this one out from Glow Recipe Serum Redness Recovery Serum. Um, I do like Glow Recipe as I mentioned earlier, so I do wanna keep this. I've been trying it as like a pre-makeup moisturizer but I haven't been using it a lot lately, so I need to get back into it. Another Dr. Zenovia. This is the acne spot treatment. As I mentioned, I'm not really using spot treatment, so I'm gonna declutter. This is one of my favorite moisturizers for oily skin. You guys can see I've almost used it up. It's the Glow Recipe Banana Cream, and I love banana, you guys know. So I will hold on to this one, it's really nice. My Glow Recipe Dew Drops. This is really pretty for pre-makeup. Again, it makes your skin so glowy and gorgeous. So I'm going to hold on. This Eye Unique Centella Calming Gel Cream. I'm going to go ahead and declutter. I just haven't got around to using it, so I would rather give this away to somebody that will use it up. The First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Oil Control Moisturizer. I was really excited for this one when it came out because it's for oily skin, but I don't really like the consistency. I do prefer the pharmacy for oily skin over this one, so I'm going to declutter. I have a cherry lip scrub. We can move this up here. That's from Milani. This Dermalogica Active Moist. This is supposed to be a good lightweight moisturizer for every day. Do I want to hold on to it? Oh, this is a hard one. I think I am going to keep it for now. I don't want to get rid of it just yet. This is the Dr. Zenovia Advanced Retinol Night Treatment. I'm going to also keep that one. And my Dr. Zenovia Peptide and Ceramide Moisturizer. Very similar to the Drunk Elephant one. So I feel like I can probably declutter. I don't think I need both of them in my collection. This Pure Release Watermelon Aqua Balm. I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this one. I like it because it's a gel. It's very scented though, and I don't really think it does a whole lot for me, so I'm gonna let this one go. I don't think Pure Release uses the best ingredients in their skincare, to be honest. I like their cleansers and like their foundations, but I don't know, their skincare just doesn't do it for me. I do have this Good Molecules Squalene Oil. I will hold on to that one. I like these little oils just to mix in with stuff, so I'm gonna put that up there. I have a sample Isle of Paradise. I need to find a new spot for that. This is a lip balm from Essence I can declutter. I do have this Honey Halo from Pharmacy. I do enjoy this moisturizer, so I'm gonna keep it. I have some sample ones here. I don't feel like I need all of these, so I might have to move these actually to my bathroom where I keep my sample skincare. In this next drawer, I have a ton of face masks, so we're gonna go through this. Definitely need some decluttering in this area because I barely use some of these. I probably should move some of them to my bathroom because it reminds me to use them there. Okay, so first up, I have this one. This is from Saturday Skin Vitamin C Sleep Mask. I will declare this. I haven't even used it yet, so I might as well um, pass that on on. I have this Bosha. I've been trying it out as like a replacement for my Drunk Elephant Baby Facial, but it's just not as good. It is a berry blend um, facial with 20% acid. It sounds like a good dupe. I love the smell of it, and it's like a weird jelly consistency, but I just don't think it is nearly as good. So I'm gonna declutter. This Laneige Sika Sleeping Mask, I'm gonna also declutter this one. I've barely used this one. I just don't reach for it. I don't find myself masking as much these days, so I'm gonna declutter that one. And I'm gonna declutter the Folian Detox Mask as well. I've had this for a bit. It's okay. I just really wasn't a huge fan of this skincare brand in general. It didn't really impress me too much. I know it's supposed to be like all natural, but their stuff really did not do it for me. I'm gonna keep my Youth to the People Yerba Mate Energy Facial. I'm almost out of it. So I've been using this one as like a, it's like a facial in a bottle, basically. It's different from the um, Drunk Elephant, though, because this one's just super exfoliating. It feels like microderm. It's very good. Makes your skin super soft, so I do want to hold on to it. I have this Derma E one still in the box. I think I will go ahead and hold on to it. It's one of their best sellers. This Milk Makeup one, the Brightening Face Mask, I'm going to go ahead and declutter this. I don't think I've used this yet. So I think I got it in a BoxyCharm, but I just don't see this being, like, too life-changing for the skin personally. I have this First Aid Beauty Instant Oatmeal Mask. I still haven't actually opened this one up. I think they recently sent it over. 
I'll have to double check. Um, I do want to hold on to it because I feel like this one's really good just for a calming, moisturizing mask. I know oatmeal is super good for redness. I do have this one too, the Arnica Relief and Rescue. I've used it a couple times. It's also supposed to soothe. I don't find myself ever reaching for this, so I will declutter since I kept the oatmeal. I have this one from Dermalogica. I thought it was very weird. I don't know. I didn't really get it, the concept and everything. I feel like some of their stuff is just like really expensive for what it is, but it's supposed to be like a bubbly mask. It's very interesting. I feel like I should hold on to it though and keep trying it out. It's supposed to be hydrating, so sometimes I do need a little extra moisture. So I'm going to keep it since it is pricey and I just want to try it a bit more. I have the F Balm from Drunk Elephant. I'm going to keep this one. This isn't like a sleeping facial mask. It's really nice. Seriously, makes your skin glowing by the time you wake up. This Dr. Dr. Brandt I still haven't used. I've had it for a bit, so I think I'm going to let it go because it seems like I'm not that super interested in trying it out. My beloved baby facial is staying with me. I also really love this one from Youth to the People. That's one of my favorite skincare brands. It's the Super Clay. I've used quite a bit of this one, but if I have really bad breakouts and my skin is going through it, this is really nice to use, and it does help dry them out, so I'm going to keep. And then I got some samples, sample masks. I probably don't need all of these, to be honest. These fresh ones, I might go ahead and just declutter. I do like the vitamin nectar one, so I do want to keep it. I can declutter the sugar face polish. These are just mini sizes and the rose mask. I might keep that one. I have a mini watermelon glow. I will declutter this one. I'm not a huge fan of the watermelon glow sleeping mask from them. And then I have this Saturday Skin Refining Peel Gel. I think I will declutter this because clearly I haven't opened it up and used it. I have another Laneige Balm. I can probably put that up here. I think that's all my skincare drawers. So let me go ahead and reorganize this real quick. Okay, so I did get one drawer cleared out. I do have a lot more to go through though. Some unopened things I might declutter quite a bit of. But I kind of reorganized the face masks. Which again, I don't know if they're going to stay in here or move to my bathroom. And then... We have here moisturizers, uh, eye creams, and lip products, like lip balms. And then this is like all of my serums and toners on top. And last but not least, I have this box of skincare that was in my bathroom. So pretty much most of my cleansers and cleansing balms is all in here. And I do need to declutter some of these because this is just like way too many cleansers for one person. So one of my favorite favorites is the Youth to the People. I'm going to keep this, the Superfood Cleanser. I currently have one in my shower that's about gone anyway, so I am going to keep that because I know I love it. I'm so curious about trying this Derma E one as well. It's the Ultra Hydrating Cloud Cleanser. It sounds so nice. So I do want to hold on to this one and try it out because I want to see if it's pretty good. I know it's very affordable. I got this Milk Makeup Vegan Milk Cleanser from TJ Maxx. I still haven't used it and I don't know when I will get around to it. So I think I'm going to go ahead and declutter this and give it to someone else to use. This is my current cleanser as well, the Tatcha, the rice wash. I do like it. I don't know if it'll be a repurchase for me. It's okay, but it is kind of expensive for what it is. So I'm going to keep it for now and finish it up. I have this Tula No Makeup Cleansing Oil. I will go ahead and declutter. I have so many cleansing oils already that I need to go through, but I do want to keep my Pharmacy Sweet Apple. I really wanted to try their new scented one. They came out with a cherry one before and just the regular green clean, but I'm so excited about the apple, so I do want to hold on to it. This Dermalogica Pre-Cleanse, I am about, I think I'm halfway done with it, so I might as well hold on to that too. I do have this Pharmacy Whipped Greens Cleanser that I also have been using. It's about half gone, so I'm going to keep that. Oh, I have so many cleansing oils. I should get rid of some. Okay, I'm currently using the Paula's Choice one as well. This one might be my favorite though, so I think I will. I think I will declutter the Dermalogica. I'm going to declutter that one. I like the Paula's Choice because it is fragrance free and I feel like this one has no ingredients that cause breakouts. Sometimes cleansing oils are very poor clogging, but this one's great, so that's why I love it so much. This one size, I feel like I never use this, the Go Off Mist, so I'm going to go ahead and declutter. It's a spray that you could spray on to take your makeup off. I think I used it like once. 
I do enjoy this Drunk Elephant Bestie cleanser. This is a brand new one, so I'm going to keep that one. I'm going to go ahead and declutter the Pure Lease Cleansing Milk. I think I just kept way too many cleansers, so this one's not like a top, top of my list, so I will declutter. I'm going to declutter this as well. I wanted to try it. I got it in BoxyCharm, but as you can see, I just have way too many other cleansing oils to use up, so I'm going to declutter the Rodeal Pink Diamond. I also have this purifying gel cleanser from Derma E. I am going to declutter this too because I did keep the moisturizing one. And then this Kopari Tropical Glow. I actually don't mind this cleanser at all. I really like it actually, so I'm going to keep. I think I'll keep this Milani Makeup Balm too just to see if it's a dupe for any of the high-end ones. I really want to try it out. I do have some like mud masks in here too. I have this Teamy Blends one. I forgot to put this with my other mask, but I feel like this is very much drying out. I've only had it for like a year, and I love it. Like, it works really well. The ingredients are great, but yeah, it's drying out really bad, so I'm going to declutter. And then this Hymish All Clean Cleansing Balm I also really enjoy. Oh man, I have so many. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to declutter this one. I'm decluttering the Hymish. I haven't used it yet. And then I do have this Kinship Mint Mud Mask as well, which I think I am going to go ahead and declutter just because I did keep quite a bit of masks that I really love instead. So this is my skincare declutter pile. I actually did a lot better than I thought I would. I really needed to go through some stuff because I just found myself not using what I had and stuff was just sitting around and I can't have skincare sitting around because it just goes bad way too fast. So yeah, I think we did pretty, pretty good. All right, so I did create two giveaway prize packs. There will be two winners. This is the first one. It's just a bunch of random skincare products that I had extra that I wanted to gift you guys. And this is the second prize package. So I tried to make it pretty fair between both of them. And I included some random hair and like a fragrance thing here and there as well. Alright guys, so that is it for my skincare declutter. I hope you guys enjoyed. For the giveaway to enter, all you have to do is be subscribed to my channel, of course, and leave a comment down below about anything you want, any comment to be entered. Also, if you could leave me your Instagram username if you have Instagram. That is usually how I contact you if you are the winner, and I'll pick a winner one week from today, and they'll be tagged in the description box once it is done, but yeah, I'll contact you through Instagram. But that is how you enter. Thanks again so much for watching my first declutter video. I don't know if my other ones will be quite this long. I feel like the skincare one was kind of long, but I had a lot to go through. But again, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.